Welcome to Beer and Politics. We are your overdue hosts, Ryan and Ryan. As all of you may know, we are back from our long break. We took a winter, spring, summer hiatus, mm -hmm. and uh, we're back in action. So thanks for sticking around. Today, we're going to be talking about actually something one of our listeners and or watchers asked us. They said, hey, will you discuss this particular video from now this? But of course, Madam Brewmaster, what do we have on tap today? Please excuse our technical difficulties. Now, the Harvest Pumpkin Wheat from Blue Moon, of course, is a seasonal beer. It only comes out this time of year. And, uh, well, it's a pumpkin wheat beer. Clocks in at 5.7% alcohol. I did not know that. That's it awesome. It does. It's That's a little, little higher than you might think. Yep. Um, so a wheat beer, it should still be kind of bright. Uh, pumpkin, of course, should have that pumpkin flavor, as you would imagine. So well, what do you think? Well, I want to start off by saying, you know, some people look at pumpkin beers or fruit beers or anything like that and think that's not real beer, but I think they're getting this wrong. Um, I love fruit beer and pumpkin beer because it's like breakfast beer. And by breakfast, I mean I like eating pie for breakfast. So, <laughs> so a pumpkin pie plus a, a pumpkin beer is delicious to me. Uh, so I actually like this beer quite a lot. Um, it is sweet. I mean, as you would expect, but if, of course, if you don't like sweet things, this may not be uh, the pumpkin beer for you. It's definitely not the sweetest one I've ever had. I, I think it has some really nice notes. I'm really impressed with the 5.5% ABV. Yeah, uh, I'm going to agree. I, I actually love this beer. This is uh, weirdly one of my favorite pumpkin beers that you can get on the market. Mm -hmm. And the greatest thing about it is it's Blue Moon, so you can get it basically anywhere right. in the United States. So wherever you're watching, you can probably get this beer. Um, <clears throat> I think it's got a lot of great pumpkin flavor to it. It's got a lot of depth to it still. It's kind of robust, it's malty. This hits just about every note that I would want a pumpkin beer to hit. Nice. I, okay. I, think, I think this is really, really well done. Sure. And I, I actually look forward to this beer more than most mm. on an annual basis. Okay. So uh, how would you rate this sucker? I would not rate it one little, two little, or three little Indians, but I will rate it four little Indians. <laughs> See, is that what you were thinking? <laughs> no, no, it's not. Uh, mine was a little more brutal. Oh, but, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Uh -huh. But uh, but I um, I actually similarly I will rate this four as well. I'm going to give this four, pumpkin kings. Oh, I like that. Just for the holiday season. Cheers. Well, the Halloween holiday season. <laughs> ah, cheers. Okay, so we're we're talking about this now. This video, mm -hmm. uh, which we're going to put the links below so you can mm -hmm. check it out if you haven't seen it. Sure. Sure. Uh, do you want to describe the video? Sure. It's a video where this uh, where this black man wears a shirt. Uh, kind of see what the reaction is going to be. Where instead of the Redskins, and as you may or may not know, they are our hometown football team. Yep. So we watch them every year. Mm -hmm. uh, where to kind of see the reaction, he wears a shirt instead of the Redskins with the logo. It's a white guy's face, and it says Caucasians. Right. But it resembles very much the logo. Uh, I might even throw it up on the screen here. Oh, that'd be good. Sure. So with that in mind, I'm, I'm going to let you do some talking, but I do have a question for you in general. You got it. Got it. All right. Um, which is, what would have been your reaction had you seen the shirt? I, I actually think it's hilarious. I do too. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, yep. I legitimately think it's funny. If I had seen the shirt, mm -hmm. now, now it, it was... It, it was a good enough reproduction. I might not have noticed it at first. Absolutely. Yep. Which he actually talks about in the video, which I'll get to. Yep. Uh, but I think it's hilarious. I do too. And frankly, I think I think if you're offended by it or if you're if you're upset by it, chances are you're a giant wuss. Yes. Uh, and you're actually now stealing my thunder. Sorry. Uh, but go uh, ahead. Yeah. I mean, it is hilarious. If you are a reasonable <laughs> white person and you see this shirt, you should think it's silly. Yeah. It's a silly shirt. Yeah. All right. And I can elaborate on that, but I'm going to allow you to talk more about any other thoughts you have on the shirt itself, reactions, <laughs> any of that, because he does talk about reactions. Uh, so on the first reaction, he actually mentions, he says, a guy probably mistook it for a Redskins shirt mm -hmm. and said, hey, you know, he's out in the street in New York and he says, hey, go Skins. And as a New Yorker, I'm, I'm closely <laughs> quoting him, as a New Yorker, he says, nah. And the guy calls him an asshole. Right? Yep. And that's well, fair. Well, I would say, frankly, I think it's because he was acting actually like an asshole. Uh -huh. Like when you think about when you think about uh, turning a positive interaction, it's like, hey, great shirt, into nope. No, it's kind of an asshole move. But that's so, what fans do. It's true. I mean, that's expected, right? It's if true. you're not a fan of the skins and someone says that, you'd be like, no. Yeah, but you know, you're wearing the shirt. You should yeah. kind of. It's expect well, it. it's confused. It is, mm -hmm. but still, like so, like I, I, I don't I don't read too much into that one. No, I. I Actually, I don't think he was saying too much into it, except he was just saying, 
people are out. This is what happened. Yeah, and yeah. it's true. Yeah. I mean, especially when it comes to sports and sports yeah. teams. Yeah, because he largely said the guy didn't recognize that it wasn't. Right. Like, I mean, it's like, as you saw from when I put it up earlier, it looks uh, really, yeah. you know, a lot And like, if you're walking by, you're going to say, you're gonna go think skins. It's skins. Yeah, yeah, you're going to say, go skins. Yeah. All right. What, so any other thoughts on the shirt other than it's silly? I, I mean, do you have anything you want to elaborate on? Um, I think that it's, I mean, by, by I would say like, by Like, why is it laughable? Why is it silly? How about we go that way? I would say because I think it's a, I think it's a clever play on the, on the Redskins theme and the Redskins mm -hmm. logo. Mm -hmm. Actually, shut up, dogs. So we're, we're live on location and there are dogs here, so we apologize. And actually, well, really. I, I actually kind of think it's, I, I think it's funny because I've actually used something similar to this. Apparently we have fruit flies or something too. I've actually used something similar to this, uh, this sort of experiment when when uh, describing how this could be viewed by other people. Mm -hmm. You know, the idea that maybe, you know, maybe the, the name Redskins is derogatory or racist. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and I've actually explained to people, including the, the listener who asked us to talk about this, mm -hmm. and I said, kind of, it would be kind of like if, if your logo was just a picture of a black guy mm -hmm. and the team name was the Negroes. Mm -hmm. Sure. How would you feel? Right. Like, would that be odd or something? And, and, you know, it's not like it's overtly derogatory, but it's certainly dated maybe a little bit. But I think, right. I think it's funny because I've actually used something very similar to this when describing this before. When being racist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh -huh. sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so, go ahead. You know, it's funny. Uh, when I first saw the shirt, I said, oh, he might as well be wearing the Minnesota Vikings shirt. <laughs> okay. Right. So, it's because if... If we're being honest, when we think about the Vikings, if you ask 100 people to describe a Viking, mm -hmm. I wonder how many of them would say someone other than white. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. we think of Vikings as white people. Um, I think... Why is that? Why? Well, because they're from Scandinavia. Ah. And Scandinavians, if you ask someone to describe a Scandinavian, <laughs> would probably say white people, right? It's reasonable. So the shirt is laughable, and it's laughable for, for a couple of reasons. So if you recognize that the shirt is supposed to be a sports-related shirt, okay, right? So it's supposed to represent uh, fans. And if you think of what a fan is, fan stands for fanatic, right? Okay. So you're looking at this shirt, and it's for a team, if you investigate, uh, called the Caucasians, uh, where the logo is a white guy, and you have fanatics. Why do fanatics exist? Uh, it's for a couple of reasons. To celebrate something, mm -hmm. uh, to perhaps honor something, though it's sports, so it's a little bit more playful than that. So I like ce celebrate. I like and it. then third is to identify with that something. Like a battle flag. Yes. So if you're walking along, and you, if you're me, and you're a white guy, and you see a shirt for a uh, supposed team that says Caucasians, <laughs> and you, you ask me, do you identify with that team? I'd say, I do. <laughs> Are they good at what they do? <laughs> and they say, yeah, they're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, I would good. line up and show up to that game and root for the Caucasians. There you go. Right? So it's silly, though. Be, and the reason it's silly is because there's nothing great about being Caucasian unless you live in America. Um, <laughs> Probably not as good if you actually live in the caucus region. <laughs> but the, the idea is that we're rooting for a team solely based on their skin color in that scenario, which isn't something we would typically root for a team on. True. So when would we root for the team? This is why I said might as well be the Vikings, uh, when the Caucasians are great warriors, perhaps. Okay. Right. So we're celebrating a group of people for a thing that we're happy about. So Vikings, great warriors, great adventurers. Mm. I mean, we're going to overlook all the things that are bad about them for sure. <laughs> all the plunder, the pillaging. <laughs> yes, exactly. But but this is what we're recognizing. So, so if you get right down to it, the fact that white people are upset about this is, is ludicrous and it's silly. In fact, if we're being really honest, this shirt actually works against the Native American cause, which is to say Native Americans are saying, listen, you're using our emblem and and it's derogatory. If I saw that shirt, I'd say that's a white power shirt. The KKK should be lining up to go to the football games because there's a Caucasian football team. Mm. Like we'd say, I support that. So if you're saying, well, white people got upset and that proves my point about Native Americans, we're largely saying you shouldn't be upset. So it's working against that Native American cause saying we should be upset. And so that's the problem with the video. Mm. Now that is, um, that is irrespective of context and historical uh, references and political things and stuff like that. Sure. But just the shirt on its own, we would say, if you're upset, you're silly. And that's what 
the owner of the Washington Redskins is trying to convey to Native Americans to some extent is you're silly. And Dan Snyder is without controversy, so. Well, that's true. <laughs> so that, that, that's, that's my, my thoughts on the shirt, is it's actually working against their principle mm. and their cause. Now, I think that uh, something that, something, something I haven't heard people mm -hmm. say, but something that I've thought about with the shirt in yeah. general, when you're talking about, let's say, the Vikings, or perhaps the mm -hmm. Fightin' Irish, mm -hmm. or, um, or other sports teams that use, uh, you know, a nationality yeah. or, or, you know, may, maybe even, we could go even as far as a stereotype. Oh, you're the fighting Irish, right? That's right. I always <laughs> throw out cowboys, too. The cowboys, the that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think one of the, uh, I, th I think one of the big differences mm -hmm. that we don't hear about a lot mm -hmm. is actually the difference in what became of those people. Yes. So what became of the Vikings? Well, well they're, they, they're they basically calmed, gone they or they became they, Scandinavians. They calmed down, but uh -huh. they became Scandinavia, right? right. Uh -huh. uh, you know, cowboys, they kind of calmed down. Sure, they were still real cowboys, but not, not really. Not by any large number, and they largely can. They live in Texas. Well, cowboy, and, I say this, a cowboy is a lifestyle. Like, I've actually had people tell me, cowboy is an occupation. It's a bunch of, you know, cow herders. I was like, no, we don't, we're not celebrating cow herders. That is not what the Wyoming Cowboys is about. That's not what the Dallas Cowboys are about. Oh, someone who, we're celebrating the people who chose to herd cattle or right. ranchers. No, it's a lifestyle. In fact, I say this. I was like, when I was a kid, I played a game called Cowboys and Indians, mm -hmm. where you fought each other. Yep. And those cowboys and cowboys and Indians weren't to represent cow herders specifically. <laughs> right. It's a lifestyle. In fact, it, uh, sometimes it's law enforcement in that scenario. Sure. <laughs> so I, but I think, I think the big differentiator that we lose out, or that, that I haven't heard people talk about anyway, is essentially what became of those people. Yep. And I think largely, especially if you're talking about like the fighting Irish, are you telling me in Boston that Irish people don't have any say in government? Or in Scandinavia that Vikings or the descendants of Vikings yeah. don't have any say? Like, no, no, no. The people who, who were these teams and who were the mascots, the Patriots, for mm -hmm. instance, like this, right? They became the people who actually ran the government. Mm -hmm. Very starkly different. That didn't happen with Native Americans. You or mean Indians. sovereign nations? In, exactly. But they're sovereign. Sure. They don't need a say in our government. They're sovereign, Ryan. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, they live up to the former glory. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so, so I, th I think this is the big difference. And that, that's not, I mean, that's not to say that, that's not to say, uh, that actually means nothing when it comes to whether or not the emblem is, oh, actually on that note, whether yeah. or not the emblem is racist. Uh -huh. In the video, the, the, the gentleman talks about how he said, you know what, this emblem is racist. Now, I, I would actually say that the, emblem is really really not <laughs> it's the least racist thing about the team in fact <clears throat> i actually my, I, I actually yeah. would agree and we can go into maybe why yeah but but I, I think i think probably the reason is because i think it's a it is a you know it's a representation it's not a picture it's a drawing right mm -hmm. but when you see a drawing of a white person or a drawing of a black person you don't think man that's not a real person that's racist it's not a caricature <laughs> exactly right? and it's not a caricature now yeah. if it were a caricature like chief I don't wahoo know, I don't know, yeah, can you think of that guy maybe? Yeah, Chief Wahoo yeah. of the Cleveland Indians. Chief oh. Wahoo. This is obviously a caricature. And the mm. thing that makes a caricature funny is if you say, hey, will you do a caricature of me? Uh -huh. Like, right. like the thing is, is that if I, you know, not, like I'm not in public life by any means except for the nearly 140 people that follow us. That's right. And other than other, <laughs> like, other than that. Thank you. Other than that, like, you know, I have no public face, right? Yeah. So if I were going somewhere and people were just selling caricatures of mm -hmm. me, I'd be like, why are you doing that? Right. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks thanks for <laughs> noticing my big forehead. No offense. <laughs> None uh, taken. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I mean, but that's the thing. It's like, it would. it's offensive if mm -hmm. someone does it about you and mm -hmm. you're not on board with it. Yeah. But it needs to be a caricature. If there's just a picture of a white guy, like the Caucasian man on the shirt... Mm -hmm. That's not offensive because it's just a drawing of a dude. Yeah, I had someone uh, point out um, <laughs> that that it was similar to like the Super Mario Brothers, right? Oh, Which yeah. are indeed caricatures of oh, Italian absolutely. people. What do you mean, and, Ryan? And I said, well, geez, if 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 the Redskins logo is a, is similar to that, then Alaska Airlines has a lot of answering to do because they have a picture of someone as their logo as well. And it's oh. probably not as well done as the Washington Redskins uh, uh, logo. And in fact, a couple things I want to point out. The logo is designed by a Native American and it was supported by, I'm gonna mess this up, I should have looked it up. I think it is the Congress of Native Americans at the time supported its drawing. In fact, I would say you could take that face and put it on any, um, 
any painting where we were showing any kind of uh, battle, if you will, against Native Americans and and but white people, for lack of a better term. Europeans would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can just put it on a body and nobody would say anything about it because there's a lot of like nameless faces in these paintings. If sure. you watch something like, it could be a nameless face. Sure. It's not a caricature. Like they went out of their way to say, this represents a Native American. And I've heard somebody say that his skin or the skin of the logo is red, like a red skin. I was like, no, look at it. It's really kind of brown. It yeah. looks like it's like, like like a guy who tans really yeah. well who's been out in the right. sun a lot. Do you get upset when you watch a cartoon and someone is a black kid and he's some shade of brown? <laughs> I mean, well, you're like, well, geez, we can't represent you know a black person that way. No, I mean, you have to use colors and you try to color match sure. it to the best of your abilities. And I think it's not that far off. Yeah, and I think it's also really important to understand that an emblem and a name are two different things. Mm -hmm. And that is really important. And actually, I can, I can give my thought on the Washington Redskins, both the emblem and name very simply. And it goes back to my definition of why we have teams. Mm -hmm. And the reason we have teams is to celebrate, mm -hmm. to root for, to identify mm -hmm. with. And we can get back into history and talk about whether or not Redskins is racist. We can talk about whether the logo is racist. But ultimately, you need to go back to simply what the Redskins team, mm -hmm. Dan Snyder, their, their owner, says about it. And they think it's to pay homage, mm -hmm. uh, to honor uh, Native Americans. And we do all these polls. Mm -hmm. And the polls are, hey, Native Americans, do you find this racist? Do you got a problem with this? And that's the wrong question. If you're telling me you're doing this to honor and celebrate them, the question should be, do you feel like you're being honored? Do you feel mm. like you're being celebrated? Because if it's just, do you think it's racist, then Dan Snyder would say, well, we're using this because uh, nobody cares. And that's not what he's saying. He's like, yeah, we should be the Washington Redskins because nobody cares. Right. That is not his defense. His defense is that we're honoring and that we're celebrating these people. And I think we should just ask him, do you feel honored and celebrated? I mean, we get into a question about how many people is compelling and stuff like that, but that sure. question's never really been asked. Sure. And <clears throat> something I think that we can do just kind of in general, uh -huh. um, when, for, for people who say, for people who say it isn't derogatory, mm -hmm. or people who say it is derogatory, yeah. I think we can do a pretty simple thought experiment here mm -hmm. to define if something is or isn't derogatory. Okay. Or if it may be, maybe there's some gray area, right? Maybe something will give us pause. Mm -hmm. So we're not like go dog pause, <laughs> right? That actually <laughs> like to stop movement. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, uh, so if you're, um, we'll use the Vikings for example, mm -hmm. right? And you know, I was talking about lineage and heritage. So if you if you say to uh, you you meet someone from Scandinavia and they're six foot seventeen mm -hmm. and they're the lightest shade with the blondest hair and the bluest eyes, mm -hmm. and you say you say to them, man. You're a living descendant of the Vikings. Does that word give you pause? Um, yes, to some extent. Like it depends what you mean by that, right? Uh, I I would think that they would say, yeah, yeah, I am. Isn't that cool? We're conquerors, adventurers. So so the question is, I yeah. guess, I guess, does that when oh, you say that in a derogatory it, manner, does it seem right. derogatory? Oh, right. Like, oh, do you reflect on whether or not that's a good term? Is your point correct? Would oh. you would that mm -hmm. would using that term give you pause, or would you like, man, like wow, Scandinavians, you're like living descendants of Vikings. Is yeah. that a, you know, I don't know, right? Okay. Yeah. Another thing. How about this? Let's say uh, let's say you're just from a big city. Yeah. And you haven't really ventured out into the country a lot. Yeah. And you go to the country and you meet a guy who works on the farm, and you're like, man, you guys are a bunch of rednecks, right? Right. Does that give you pause? Does that give you pause? Maybe that has some kind of yeah. derogatory term, you know, maybe some, some, some kind of meaning to it. And the thing that you should think about yeah. is, is maybe if you met a Native American, and you, maybe you haven't before, and I bet a lot of Americans either haven't or didn't know yeah. if they have, would you say, man, I've never met her, never met a redskin. Right. I've never, I've never met someone who was descended from the, from the Native redskins mm -hmm. who originally, you know, like, and, and the thing is, is if, if that even gives you pause, right? Then maybe I like the way you maybe said it's that. a derogatory. Term. I like the way you said that because uh, you know I actually did a discussion on social media about this, and one of the things I kept kind of leaning back to is if it, if the terms and the logos and et cetera are so dubious mm -hmm. that it requires this much discussion, mm -hmm. maybe there's more to this than we're willing to admit because we wouldn't be doing this for any number of other things and. 
And let's go back to the fact that Native Americans are still around, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is an important distinction. Yeah. Because, yes, if they were around, we're saying we're celebrating them. Who's going to argue with that? We're <laughs> celebrating. No, they're still around. That's why I go back to whether it gives you pause, whether you think it's derogatory, no matter what you think about it, just go and say, do you think this celebrates you? Because this is the argument we're mm -hmm. making. And I think, I think if you're being an honest person, if you're being a reasonable, <laughs> excuse me, if you're being a reasonable person, you'd want to know what that answer is. Yeah. And the thing is, if you're if you're not going out of your way yep. to be a jerk, mm -hmm. and and let's say you've come up with like, hey, you know what if, because if one person says it is out of a million, yeah, you probably don't care. Absolutely. But if seven hundred and fifty thousand out of a million, yeah. maybe you do. Yeah. So you figure out where that line is that you care, and if you ask the question and you get the answer that it is, maybe you need to care. Yeah. I mean, we're just pretending to care. It, it, it's what we're doing. We, we're, we we're, pretend a lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. I mean, we do it all across politics. That's why we exist today. Is largely our show is a bunch of people being intellectually dishonest. Yeah. Which is to say, they don't really care, and they're pretending to care, one way or the other. We care about mm -hmm. your feelings, or we don't care about your feelings. What's whatever suits who uh, the perspective of that person at in at that moment. At that moment. Yeah. 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 Well, I think that was a great discussion, sir. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, we've switched sides. He's on the good side. I'm on the bad side now. Well, you know. Uh huh. But uh, we're we're just as handsome as ever. Yeah. And uh, you know, we had a the reason we were off for so long is because we had a full revamp of the studio, as you can see. That's right. On location. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, we want to thank you. We want to remind mm -hmm. you that you can get all of these videos, all of our content on social media, and of, by social media, of course, I mean, well, YouTube. But uh, we have a presence on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can download all our, all of our stuff on Stitcher, on iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, on, here's one other, Google Play. You can get the podcast if you want. We have fun Instagram stuff. Sure. Fun and quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Depends on your definition, but. Yeah. And by all means, come visit Attic Bar. We'll it's see great you place. there. Thanks a lot. Remember, until next time. It's just beer. And politics. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on social media. Links can be found below. You can get all our episodes as a podcast on your favorite platform. Here are a couple videos we think you might enjoy. Until next time, remember, it's just beer and politics. <laughs>